Hi again, YouTubers. So it's Saturday morning and it's like 1030. Um, I have been up and taping a video this morning. My October five favorites, one regret, which ended up being five favorites, one regret, two extras, two clothing items and a bunch of empties plus some updates. Um, so it ended up being a little bit longer than normal, but you know, that's how it goes. Uh, Marty and MJ got up this morning and went to Coffee and Cars, which is something here. I'll try and show, well, they're coming to an end right now. Uh, normally it's like spring, summer, fall, um, that Saturday mornings, it's Coffee and Cars. There's by a Panera, a big parking lot, um, a bunch of cars get together, everything from like rare cars to sports cars to like fast and furious cars to muscle cars to like big trucks to everything um they all get together and kind of get coffee and walk around and talk to each other and show each other their cars and all that fun stuff um and i usually go with them but i had to tape this video this morning because this week my mother-in-law is coming into town and um we're, we usually are super busy when she's here and we do a lot of stuff with her and uh you know so she can play with mj and get things done and hang out um, so we kind of do a lot of that and so while we're doing all that I wasn't sure if I was gonna have time to tape a video and have it up for you I want to have it up the Monday after Halloween um, which is like almost a week away but um, I wanted to make sure I had time to get that up for you guys so I wanted to tape it today uh, not sure what we have going on we're gonna go to Costco today or BJ's or both um, our TV in our bedroom died we only had it for two years and it's a Samsung and it that sucks but um, it is what it is but um i think we have like a 65 or 70 out here and marty would like to get a bigger one for out here so then that one is either going to go in our bedroom which we have a really really big bedroom our bedroom's right next to the kitchen um our bedroom's on the master level of the house and then there's bedrooms upstairs and downstairs and another living room downstairs um but we're trying to decide if it's worth taking that tv that's in here either into that bedroom or dry, take it up to the Cape and put it at our Cape house and bring the 50 inch, I think it is, back here for our bedroom. I would prefer that, but I'm fine with whatever he decides to do. It doesn't matter that much to me. I'll watch pretty much any TV, um, but it might be easier just to put this one in the bedroom so that we don't have to trek this one all the way up there and worry about it and all that fun and then bring the other one back too. So whatever, I'm good with whatever. No idea what else we have going on this weekend. We're just kind of flying by the seat of our pants. Oh, we are going out tonight to dinner with friends. Uh, two sets of friends to this like loungy tapas restaurant place um, that's close to us here. It's not in Baltimore City. It's close to us down here in a little area by the water. So we're going to go to that. So I'll try and show you a little bit of that if I can. And uh, I think that's everything. And I will just show you guys whatever I can throughout the day. So now we are out of Costco looking at TVs, waiting to see which one Marty decides on. Not sure if we're getting bigger or smaller. They have a lot of selection here if you haven't been here before. Take a look. That was scary. What was scary? So I just got home and got a package from Stella and Dot. It is the second piece of my necklaces that just came in. It is the little arrow one. Oops, there it is. The little arrow one that I'm going to wear with the horseshoe one. So just got ready to go out tonight. Um, don't have any lipstick on right now because um, I don't like to put it on until I'm ready to go out because I'm gonna kiss MJ goodnight and put him to bed and all that kind of stuff. Uh, hair is curled with the dry bar uh, curling wand again, touching it up just a little bit. And I'm gonna tell you, I'm not a fan of this thing. I think I lost more hair doing this than with a regular curling wand and I'll show you in a minute. Um, I'll show you what I'm wearing. Uh, two necklaces, Stella and Dot, the two that I just recently got. Shirt is by Splendid. Jeans, these ones are Paige. Uh, boots, same boots I've been wearing. This time they're tucked in. Um, same earrings. I just have on uh, David Yerman bracelet and then a ring that was my grandmother's uh, with some gold to it. Uh, and decide my regular rings and my regular watch. Um, all right, so makeup is the Estee Lauder Perfectionist, the new one. I'm trying that out. Chanel Powder, Too Faced Bronzer, Chanel Malice Blush, I think it is. On my eyes, it's um, those Mary Kay shadows. You can Google the um, tutorial I did with that, but this time I did a little bit of gel liner, mascara. Lips are going to be Makeup Forever 1C and then Too Faced Nude Beach and then maybe a uh, the Buxom Creamsicle over it. Um, but that's it and I'm going to show you this curling wand and show you what I mean. Alright, so I love the little 
thing, but look at how much hair. Can you see all the hair in here? So here's the basis. This thing spins. So you can spin your hair around it in theory. However, with long hair, it gets tangled in there really bad. Sorry, stuck my hand in front of that that time. So that's it. Uh, getting ready to go out. I'm going to go down. MJ, Marty's giving MJ a bath right now. I'm going to go down and check on them and bring them up. It's 645 and the babysitter shows up in 30 minutes, give or take 715. And dinner reservations are at 830 uh, with some friends. So getting ready to head out. And uh, I guess that's it for the night. I'll see you guys tomorrow. So I was so enjoying my dinner and everything last night that I totally forgot to tape anything as far as the video. Uh, we had a great time. It was a nice little restaurant in a small little area by us here. Um, it's a wine and it's a wine bar that also has beer, but they don't have any spirits. Um, and they have like tapas and flatbreads and like charcuterie plates and things like that. Um, and it's, it was just awesome. And we sat in this, this big couchy fluffy area and relaxed and talked and hung out and, uh, just caught up with friends so unfortunately I forgot to tape which is usual uh, just sitting here right now writing up a couple things and watching Marnie Miss Gold Girl if you haven't watched her her throwback Thursday to October 2011 favorites I am going to start doing a flashback Friday uh, which you will see at the end of October I forget when this video is gonna be going up anyway uh, right now I'll show you a little bit what I'm doing um, cooking in the crock pot we are cooking realize, oh all the steam's coming out anyway it is um let me turn the light under the cabinet here they are going to be chicken ranch tacos um, i found the recipe on pinterest i will post it here you cook them in the crock pot four chicken breasts in there and they've already started falling apart um and you just kind of cook them and then they're tacos has anybody else ever had this happen my light bulb in here died and I have been, this is just hanging down because I sent Marty to the um, Home Depot to find a new light bulb because I couldn't find a light bulb to fit it anywhere. So he's trying at Home Depot. Um, but that sucks when that light bulb goes out. I leave it on all the time. That's kind of like our nightlight around here. So it's my own fault. But ugh, what a pain to replace that bulb. Anyway, uh, doing some laundry. Some laundry sitting over there folding some laundry, watching some YouTube, cooking some dinner, and uh, went to the gym this morning and to breakfast. I should tape our breakfast place one morning. It's a really, really awesome place. Um, not much makeup on today, still in my gym clothes. Have on just uh, one of those Gap shirts with the thumb holes, a pair of Athletica I think I have on today. Nope, Lululemon um, leggings, my sneakers, hair's just back in a bun nothing special so uh today we are just having a relaxing day we're gonna go to the car dealership to look at a car that marty wants me to look at to see if i like it um we don't keep cars very long around here so he's looking to get a new car for my to replace my car and uh so we're gonna go to the dealership and look at it today which is sunday when they're not open because i hate going when the dealership is open because they bug me and i just want to take a look at it and see if i like it and then we'll go from there so So we are heading out to the gym, uh, but we are going this time for swim school. Uh, MJ has, we go and play at the pool first, and then we go to swim school, and that's about a half hour. Then we usually stop at Chick-fil-A and pick up lunch for him because he gets done swim school at 12 o'clock and his nap is at 12.30, so the quickest way to do it is to stop and pick up something to eat on Mondays. Mondays are usually our like comfy, casual, like relaxed day. Um, I do have my new little hook car thing. Um, it's one of those things, uh, I was talking to Elizabeth about it. Uh, it's actually a holder for a GPS and, uh, but then you can put your camera in it because it's adjustable, which is pretty cool. So we are heading out to do that and go to the pool and swim and all that fun stuff. Oh, we might go to the grocery store later because I forgot when I went yesterday uh, that I have to make an appetizer for our Halloween party and our development on Friday before the kids go out trick-or-treating. We have a development party um, in between two of the houses that myself and another uh, neighbor are in charge of. 
and we buy the development buys like pizza and sodas and juice and water and stuff like that and then everybody brings either a dessert or an appetizer and uh, that way that, I feel like that might be really bumpy I don't know anyway um, so yeah so that's what uh, we have going on today nothing too exciting but just a typical Monday Mondays are kind of boring for us but uh, a lot going on but they're not like there's not much difference to it it's always the same every week so that's pretty much it and uh i'll show you what i can throughout the day we are just out at swimming school waiting for it to start um we've got about 20 minutes 15 minutes until it starts so and just playing in the smaller pool until the therapy pool is ready for the swim lessons no bubbles. yep that wasn't a very good bubbles but that was today much better Okay, you ready to go to swim school? Come on, let's go to swim school. We have gone to the gym, eaten breakfast, gone to the gym, come back home, played for a while, eaten lunch, taken a nap. I've showered and gotten ready and he got up. Um, he has a little bit of a cold, I think, because he has the sniffles, so he isn't feeling 100%, but um, he's been doing good. And he's going to the bathroom really, really, really good today. Knock on wood. So I wanted to show you two things. One thing that I got in and one thing that I'm having an issue with. Show you this real quick. This one is called LA Pro Conceal. Um, I don't know what color I got it in. Oh, here we go. Pure beige. There it is. Um, and I think I heard Tati Glam Life, Glam Life Guru talking about it and it has a brush applicator. So I'll give that a shot. I haven't tried it yet. Just came in the mail today. And then Buxom Lip Gloss. Look what happened to this thing. This is where the lid goes, and this is what it looks like, but I can't get it open now. I mean, I'm gonna try hot water and pliers next, but just traditional methods. This is the Buxom color Lola Lola, and I love it. It is my favorite color. It's like a peachy with a shimmer and just a very, very slight, slight, slight pink undertone, mostly peach. And I love it. Um, do you guys know another Buxom color that's similar to this? I'd love to give a different one a try. Probably just a different name now. Um, but yeah, so that kind of sucks. And I wish that didn't happen. Um, but it is what it is. It's also old. I've had it for a while. Um, so if anyone knows a different color that's similar to that, I'd love to know. So um, that's about everything. I will also try to put a swatch in of that color if I can get it open so you can see what it looks like. Um, and that's everything. We're having steaks and Brussels sprouts for dinner tonight. Um, Brussels sprouts, I found this cool recipe. I'll post it below. It's Parmesan toasted Brussels sprouts. It has like lemon zest and olive oil and uh, breadcrumbs, toasted breadcrumbs and uh, Parmesan cheese. So we're gonna give those a try. I never tried them before yet. And we get our steaks from a local uh, farm here. So we're gonna give that a try with the Brussels sprouts and that'll be dinner tonight. Other than that, we're just hanging out. So also with dinner tonight, I forgot to tell you guys this, I also do these grilled onions that we use with steaks. They're grilled balsamic onions and they're amazing. It's really easy. You take a mandolin, mandolin, I don't even know what it's called, I'll show you in a second. Uh, and you slice up an onion basically. You can even chop it up if you want to. You grill the onions with like a tablespoon of olive oil and then at the end, you just put balsamic vinegar over it right before you're getting ready to serve it and let it sink in and they're amazing. They're just phenomenal. So and for steaks, I tend to use a um, special olive oil. It's a Tuscan herb olive oil that I get in Cape Cod. Um, and I put that on the steaks and then I use McCormick steak, steak seasoning and kind of rub that in with the oil. And then I'm going to cook them on the grill, but I'm going to show them to you ahead of time. So you see what it looks like. This is what the Brussels sprouts look like um, before they go into the oven. So this is what the onions look like. And then I just I eyeball it. I have more if I end up needing it. And just mix it in and let them cook for a couple minutes like this too. Just stir it in until it's all mixed in. And outside cooking the steaks, um, I didn't decide to sear them first on the pan, but I seared them first on our grill. We have a searing station on our grill. It's a Weber. Um, and I will show you what they look like. There's our steaks. It is a beautiful night, by the way, to be outside or day. Um, and I'm just gonna show you a little bit of my backyard because we have a pond over here that you can see now through the trees and it's really pretty. I don't know if you'll be able to see, we need to take those cushions in from that deck. I don't know if you'll be able to see the pond. 
there it is you can see it, it spawns it goes pretty far it goes over a good ways and there's some benches down there and stuff but it's pretty cool just to have that outside looking at it and the trees look so pretty in the fall that's okay mail in and I got two fun things in the mail I'll show you what they are first one is for the Sephora VIB Rouge Holiday Soiree and the VIB Rouge 20% off code and then I got a hold of the Lorac Mega Pro palette um, I believe they have them on Amazon right now that's where I got mine and this is what it looks like I only glanced at it for a second Ugh. But it is beautiful. Love the colors. So excited I decided to get this because I wasn't sure if I was going to need it. And then I felt rushed because they were out of them. So we are off and out and about and heading to the gym once again. Typical morning. Um, we have um, not much going on today. It's a crappy rainy day today. Overcast. But um, we're going to go to the gym. Go home. He has gymnastics tonight. But... Marty's gonna take him to gymnastics because I have a dinner with uh, my family. Um, my aunts, actually, like the women yeah. on that side of the family. Yeah, he's got minions on in the back. Um, and uh, so I have a planning dinner. It's a Thanksgiving planning dinner, essentially, because my family is very large. So the women get to get together about a month ahead of time and plan who's bringing what for Thanksgiving dinner. Um, it's at one person's house and then um, the rest of it, everybody kind of brings different things and we figure out how many turkeys we need and blah, blah, blah. So that's kind of what our day is gonna be and I'll try and bring you along as much as I can. I know a lot of you have purchased uh, these Gap Fit shirts that I love, the Ga Gap Fit Breathe shirts. They are amazing, I love them, um, I wear them almost every day. They're amazing. So um, I'm glad that all of you have been telling me about it and telling me you like it. Um, people have been asking just to know more about what I'm wearing too. Um, and people have asked me about this vest that I wear. It's a Patagonia. Um, I'll try and put a link below. I have a vest and a jacket. Um, MJ has a vest too. Um, I really like them. They're super comfortable. They're super soft. They're easy to throw in the wash and in the dryer. You just throw them in with a tennis ball, as silly as that sounds, but it works. It fluffs the down in it stuck behind a school bus oh I hate when that happens um, so anyway um, that's what these coats are the gap denim my um, workout pants I tend to wear lululemon and athletica and uh, gap I don't think they're called gap fit ones but they're gap ones those are the three main brands that I tend to stick with um, and people have been asking me that who's funny <laughs> He was just laughing a minute ago. I order in my second one because I had a bunch of things that, of course, I realized afterwards that I wanted. Anyway, I'm on this hunt for lip liners. I don't know why. This one is the Too Faced Perfect Lips in the color Perfect Spice. Um, I'll put some swatches at the end of this. Uh, nude Medium and Smashbox Always Sharp Lip Liners. Uh, Urban Decay 24-7 Glide on Pencil in Naked. This I was excited to see, so I opened it as soon as I saw it. The Tarte CC Colored Clay Under Eye Corrector. People are saying that, or I've heard that it is a great dupe for the Eve Pearl. So I will try that and let you know. Um, Hourglass Femme Rouge Lipstick in Fable. Uh, sample, deluxe sample, Dior, uh, it's a men's clone. I don't know the name. Lancome, what is this one? Hypnos Drama. Um, I am not happy with my Dior show iconic overcurl lately. Micro Delivery Peel, Lancome Genifique. We got a Buxom Gloss in the color Lisa. Cheese. MJ has one of my old cameras and he's playing with it. Uh, Urban Decay lipsticks. I got three of them. I got the color. Whoa, this one's gonna be way too dark. Fiend. That's gonna be too dark if it looks like that. Um, Love Light. And Naked. Oops. Hourglass lipstick in the color Peace. 
Uh, Too Faced La Creme Lip Color in In the Buff. A clean goose. cotton. Goose. Yeah. Lars, La Mercier Mineral Powder in the pressed version. I didn't even know they had this. Uh, one of the NARS Audacious Lipsticks in the color. Anita. The Becca Eye Palette that is called Ombre Nudes. Um, it kind of looked like what I wanted the Urban Decay one to be. Um, so when I ordered this the last time, The Perfectionist, it was in the wrong color. The Estee Lauder Perfectionist. So I picked up the color 2N1 Desert Beige. We'll see how that one does. Same thing with the Lancome. And I, if you return something, this one's 220 but I have not been a fan of my Dior Iconic Overcurl. So the Genifique, um, they have a, or no, Grandiose one. It's supposed to be awesome. I don't know, but just in case I hated it, I got one of the Lancome Hypnos Drama, which is always my go-to. Just watching some fun new stuff that I got from Sephora. Not showing up. This lighting is really bad. There we go. That's probably... There we go. Getting ready, waiting for Marty to come home and getting ready to go out to dinner with my aunts. Um, what do I have on today? The new Estee Lauder foundation in the right color. Um, on my eyes, I have some MAC shadows, uh, soft, no, I have, I use the Lorac palette, um, but I, the mega one, but I used it in a way that I use MAC shadows. Um, so I don't remember the names, but it's a little bit of a gray color on the outer corner, a cream color on the lid. Uh, caramel color, kind of like a soft brown to blend out, and uh, mascara is a new one by Lancome. I want to call it Genifique, but I think that's their serum. Starts with a G. It's a new one with a crazy wand. Uh, MAC Black Track Liner on my lips, Smashbox Lip Liner, and Buxom Gloss and Lisa, which is probably worn off by now. On my cheeks, I have two MAC blushes, Style and Spring Sheen, blended together. Bronzer is the Glow Minerals today. Um, I have on a sweater. I have on, here, let's see. Uh, hair is curled with the Babyliss Pro uh, curling iron. Um, sorry, I just realized the camera is low. Uh, necklaces are the Stella and Dot, the Arrow one with the horseshoe, right? Yeah, horseshoe. Uh, blue sweater from Ann Taylor, just a tank top from, you can't even see it, from uh, Target jeans are Paige and my shoes today are sorry that's hanging over there. My shoes today are uh, Tory Burch. I don't even remember what these were called, but they are the world's most comfortable flats ever. Um, on our way to the gym this morning and uh, today I'm taking a step class and last night was a monstrous fail. Uh, it ended up, Marty was supposed to be home at 4 for me to leave by like 4.30 and what ended up happening is he got stuck in horrible DC traffic and then an accident by the Baltimore Tunnel and he didn't end up getting home until 5.45. And my dinner started at 5.45 and it was an hour and 10 minutes away. So I didn't end up going, which really sucks because I love to hang out with all of them and my aunts and get to see everybody and kind of catch up and all that good fun stuff. Um, as I mentioned yesterday, I come from a really big family. My mom is the oldest of nine children and I'm the oldest grandchild. So um, I think we have, I think my aunt was saying we have 35 to 38 I think uh, depending on a few people for Thanksgiving dinner this year it always varies every year how many people we have uh, and so that's what we're looking at this year and uh, we plan that we go to dinner and plan basically um, what we're gonna eat who's bringing what um, who's in charge of what and because I wasn't there I am now in charge of a roasted vegetable and whatever bread we're having with dinner that year hey at least I didn't get stuck with a turkey that's all I have to say so MJ has decided that he wants to drive my car. So he climbed in the front seat. All right, cover your mouth. MJ, say hi. Hi. <laughs> say driving. Driving. Yeah, what are you doing? The pedals. You, you can't reach the pedals. The car's off, he's not going anywhere, and the garage is closed, but he wanted to play driver. I gas in my car, and uh, after the babysitter came and I knew I was low in gas and I checked the miles it said I had 30 miles left 
and I just needed almost 19 gallons in my car and I thought I only had an 18 gallon tank but oops <laughs> guess I waited a little too long for the gas but I did down where it has no numbers before oh whatever anyway I am off to run some errands today um it's a actually really nice day it's a little overcast I'm wearing some Ray-Bans just traditional Ray-Bans um, I really like the look of those ones with the blue mirrors but they just don't work on me I've had these for years and years and years um, just wearing a Target like v-neck tank um, one of those Ann Taylor Loft like little boyfriend cardigans that are lightweight a pair of Paige denim uh, jeans and a pair of Toms so nothing great just kind of comfy running some errands I'm uh, just leaving the mall um, and I went to the Sephora inside JC Penney's to return the Sephora Pro 31 brush um, I thought it was gonna be I don't know I just thought it was gonna be better I wasn't a fan it reminded me of all a bunch of inexpensive like synthetic paper brushes I do crease brushes um, and I wasn't a fan so I was gonna return it and get the makeup forever aqua lip in 3c that has been out online for months now like probably two months now ever since they gave that sample out and then now it was friends and family and then there's VIB and all that and so I know it's not gonna come back in online anytime soon so I figured I'd return that brush and um, get the lip liner they had the lip liner I picked up the lip liner went up to check out and take out the or to buy the 3c and she says to me and nicest girl ever and she watches videos here on YouTube she was super nice super helpful and I feel bad for her because I was kind of asking some questions because I wasn't I didn't get it um, essentially now if you go back and take something back to Sephora inside of a JC Penney's that was purchased at a store or in lot online in line online I was in line but online you can only get a credit a JC Penney's credit not a Sephora credit a JC Penney's credit back for your return so I'm taking it home and I'll just ship it back because I got it through um, online and it's free shipping back and it takes like a month to get my credit back but what I, no I don't want a JC Penney's credit and like it was more than what the lip liner was so I would have ended up with like four dollars in a gift card to JC Penney's I don't want that so just thought I'd share that with you guys because I didn't know that and I think that is really gonna deter people from shopping in those pop-up shops in JC Penney's so I picked up a few things at uh, Ulta sort of things I got for Marty I got him the Jack Black uh, turbo wash for hair and body he likes this one a lot. I figure, well, I have 20% off and they don't sell it at Sephora anymore. They sell this one at Sephora, but um, I had it in there. So uh, Invigorating Rush Hair and Body Wash by Anthony. He really likes that one. Uh, I picked up, some, the reason I went in was to pick up some of the IT Cosmetics, the velvet brushes. Yeah, velvet luxe ones. I picked up the Flawless Face. Can't see them in these packages. The Plush Powder and the effortless crease so you'll see those in a haul and since i was wandering around and i'm on this crazy lipstick hunt i picked up the color rush which i'm not sure if i just got in my most recent order if i did i'll just return this one i won't open it uh, i picked up the lip liner in the color liar which went with rush and if i have rush it'll work great if i don't have rush i just bought it so I got that one and then I got the Too Faced La Creme lip color in Naughty Nude which when I was just in Sephora I saw and I thought to myself well, I'm not gonna buy it here I can just go over to Ulta and get 20% off on it um, just a pretty color really pretty color so I think that oh nope got one more thing from Ulta I got that Mally Evercolor poreless face defender have you guys ever heard of this I heard a while ago Emily Noel uh, really likes Mally stuff and she said that one was really good and we're back I'll try to show you a little bit of what it looks like on the inside So my father-in-law knows that MJ loves the Minions 
So he got him this picture that is signed by Steve Carell and the rest of the people who I don't know who all of them are in the movie for MJ's new room. All the signatures on there. So it's cute. So we'll be hanging this in his room. So we went to lunch today at a place called The Lodge and then I just have been setting up for the development party thing and I'll put a clip after this of what it looks like. I don't know how much of the party itself I will show. It's literally just between two houses and um, you know pizza and everybody brings an appetizer or dessert and uh, it's really easy. So now I'm gonna go in my house and get a couple things done, get my appetizer made. And uh, from there, we will go out to the party and then go trick or treating with MJ. Go ahead, MJ. <laughs> yeah. Hi there. MJ, go say trick or treat. <laughs> he just likes the treat part. Go ahead. Thank you. Adeline's trying to get by. Go ahead, MJ. You can go up. Oh, Spider-Man. You're scared. You're strong. Spider-Man. Just look at his muscles. You go. Here you go. <laughs> Do you say thank you? Thank you. Hi, Marty. Okay, you Spider-Man? Marty, you put these in the fridge? Yeah, sure. Look at you, MJ. Oh, it's awesome. Would anyone like a cocktail? Nice. Oh, good, thank you. Holy heck, I am inserting this little clip uh, after last night in, I'm putting it on Saturday morning's clip onto Friday night because I did not get the tape much. We ended up having the party for the development. Then MJ went trick or treating for a little bit. Some of the kids came over here and there's a clip that I'll put in of a bunch of the adults came over and everybody ended up hanging out at our house uh, for quite some time and just having drinks and it became an adult party <laughs> and when the kids went to bed. So uh, I'm exhausted this morning and I have a little bit of MJ's cold. So uh, I'm just gonna go and I uh, wanted to tell you guys what happened last night and why you didn't see so much.